Um, design, and that is a German tin, and this was stolen from the Japanese tin. <laughs> and here is another German tin, that is from as late as the 1950s actually. And here we have not natural voice, but new voice. Uh, Long tone. And we have three dogs and a gramophone, but it's not an outside horn gramophone because we are now in the 1920s. And here we have his master's radio. Dog and radio, Granitin. Come for train. <laughs> And uh, that is the Italian John Coltrane. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have something very funny. This is from what? Japan once again, the dog and the angel. <laughs> and the trained dog, or the dog to be trained. So uh, some of those uh, infringements are quite ingenious. You know, the, the competitors try to to test the limit to which they could go, and either they were sued or they were not sued, this one was very short-lived, actually. Now, here is another example that a German manufacturer of needle tins entered his own trademark, and it was approved. So uh, that was a trademark that uh, the gramophone company could not uh, fight. And here, it's a blue emerald. Uh, not many people could play into a, an outside horn <laughs> at the same time. The one on the right looks like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Two dogs, but neither of them is nipper. And here we have um, a nipper who is not nipper anymore and a cat. And this one also is very far removed from the real thing, but uh, it's now God and Baby, an Indian tin. Just remember, God is dog backwards, so... And, uh, in India, of course, and in some other countries, in, uh, in Muslim countries, the dog is considered a, a, a dirty animal, unclean. So they had to do something about that, and they um, selected the, uh, one of the most important gods, uh, and here also Baby and Gaja, Baby and Doll, Baby and Nightingale, and here that one is uh, I think for the Near East, for uh, yes, and although this was meant for the Arabic Peninsula, they have a kangaroo in it, don't ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find something, some other animal than the dog, which is unclean. So, um, what I try to explain is that they have, uh, the competitors had a lot of uh, strategies, like keep the basic iconographic, but change the type of machine, tape the, uh, the dog, replace the dog by other animals, or by human figures. This is a real tin, a genuine tin, a German tin. And here we have an Indian tin. And a German tin again. So no more dog, but an outside horn. Chanticleer, the French tin. Made in Germany for export to France. So his master's chicken. <laughs> 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 what is that? It's like a sort of a beaver, highly, <laughs> highly abstract beaver. <laughs> but uh, uh, he has two ears, one is visible. Uh, yeah. I knew you would be entertained. Uh, <laughs> Those I have never found, and I'm not sure whether they are phantom trademarks, but uh, whether they were actually uh, uh, used in real life, but they look so beautiful. Um, 
Oops. Here, uh, another Indian tin, very poor quality. Uh, the needles also were extremely poor quality, <laughs> so you could not even use them once. Pegasus. The lion. And the young boy. And versions of that one. And that is for the Balkans. That was a tin used in Germany. This one is a lightly clad maiden from India. Lecker form. And this one here is the Gooseman. For these men. And uh, you know, there are so many examples of uh, the main theme, the law of deals. And here, um, just as a sideline, the vignettes were also used, or the vignettes that used uh, the same theme, in this case, uh, to appeal to people in Africa. And this one here is an almost racist little black fellow uh, instead of Nipper. And another tin for export to Africa. And this one, I like, what we have to think twice or thrice to find out it's really a nipper infringement. For some reason, the, uh, of all the uh, companies that replaced the dog with uh, some other animal, Beka used a flamingo. Why a flamingo? I have been unable to find out. And it is, I mean, it makes no sense. And uh, the uh, outside horn gramophone is being reduced to just the horn with a, uh, with a with a, with a partly visible um, a, a disc uh, in front of it. So, um, arrange things mirror-wise. <laughs> and a heraldic lion this time. And uh, some of the uh, images might uh, represent real machines, so the machine collectors will be able to identify those machines. I'm sure. This one is for Czechoslovakia. This one is uh, the same type of needle for Germany. This is also Czechoslovakia. This is stealing from the one used in Germany earlier on. So, and then um, his master's voice has those catchword master and voice and H and V. So we already uh, touched on voice. And here we have uh, awaiting his master's arrival. <laughs> and here we have master needles. India. And here we have Home music voice, and guess what? Check. Abbreviated, it's HMV. Yes. Home music voice. <laughs> and then, lastly, I'm not quite sure. There are plenty of uh, of um, uh, needle tins from post World War II uh, Japan, and I'm still not sure whether they are genuine or whether they are infringements. There are so many of them. And they are not Victor, but they are victory dealers. <laughs> and they look so genuine, but I'm not sure. Why says, don't they say Victor and victory? It even says RCA by that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Strange, isn't it? Huh. Okay, so um, the, uh, the, uh, his master's voice was used, of course, also in cartoons, plenty of cartoons. And this one I found in the uh, uh, Czech Socialist Republic immediately after the Soviet invasion, a couple of months later. And they had an art exhibition. And uh, I'm absolutely sure this was a subversive uh, cartoon. 
uh, against the uh, powers at uh, I mean, and I scratched the back of my head to find a uh, I can't finish uh, oops and ask a presentation without sounds and I was looking for dog related uh, recording so th the recording I'm playing now has nothing to do with the uh, with the cartoon I'm showing, except that it is also to be, uh, supposed to be funny. And it is <coughs> Nibber Serenade. No, how do I get this to work? Enter? I think you have to go to the presentation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. circus and it starts in uh, the trainer calling his dogs and they answer him and uh, so he has a soprano dog and an alto dog and a baritone dog and a tenor dog and um, he calls them all by name and then all together they perform. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you.